everyone, Saki here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another video in front of my wardrobe because I wanted to do a video that's related to my wardrobe. So if you follow me on social media, you might know that I sell a lot of my clothes on Depop. So I have regular closet clear out. I kind of did a video similar to this when I first started YouTube about how I organize my closet. And in that video, I wanted to share some clean out tips, but I didn't get a chance to because I was basically just reorganizing my closet. Anyway, today's video is going to be all about how to condense your wardrobe, how to pick out pieces to keep and to throw away and just tips on building a better wardrobe for yourself. I have a lot of clothes. I know that you can probably tell from my channel because I do do a lot of haul videos. However, I don't end up keeping everything in like my permanent collection. I do get rid of a lot of things that I'm not happy with, but the process to do that is actually really tedious. It's really hard for me to let go of stuff. I'm one of those people who has a hard time letting go of things. However, I came up with a couple tips on just things that I usually think about when I'm trying to throw things away or when I'm trying to organize or clean my closet. So I hope if you're struggling with this you can find this video helpful if you're new to my channel welcome my name is Saki I make videos every single week about cute and girly fashion I do a lot of hauls and fashion videos and I'm also hoping to do more lookbooks and things in the future so if that kind of thing interests you please hit the subscribe button down below and follow my channel so you never miss a video and on that note like always let's get started I wrote a couple tips on my phone so if you see me looking at it it's because I wrote everything out there so my number one tip when you want to clean out your wardrobe is to have everything out visible in the open I know that it's not feasible for everybody to do this. I know a lot of people have like smaller closets or maybe you don't want your clothes spilling out to your bedroom. In this case, I would suggest keeping everything out that's seasonal. For example, if it's spring, make sure that your closet's filled with all of your spring items. And you can clear space in your closet by putting like your fall and winter clothes away. But if possible, I think it's a really good idea to have all your clothes laid out. So what I mean by that is nothing in drawers, nothing in boxes. And that's just kind of how I like to keep my clothes. Like I said, I know that's not feasible for everybody, but one thing that you can do to add a little bit more space is find something like this. I found this actually on Amazon and I got it delivered to me and I just put it together really fast. It was really, really easy and it was pretty affordable. But basically this is just like a detachable clothing rack that you can put anywhere in your room. I have a big closet already, but I have too many clothes, like I've said before, so I had to buy an extra reel. This is also like for a backdrop and it basically serves many purposes, but it does help for me to have something else where I can store my clothes. In my previous closet video, I was putting all my winter clothes away in tubs and I found that if I do that I kind of forget about the clothes that are in there. I think I was transitioning into autumn so I was putting summer and winter clothes away so I kept putting summer clothes away saying that I wouldn't be able to wear them in the autumn and basically just forgetting about those pieces. If you have all of your clothes laid out where you can see them such as hanging your closet on a rack like this it's really easy to see what you have and haven't been using and I just think that's a great tip just to be able to see the amount of clothing that you have and see every single piece individually. So this brings me to my next point. I did mention that you want to be able to see all of your clothing because you might not wear everything that you have. I am so guilty of that, for example. I have so many pieces of clothing that I have never even worn with the tag still on them. If I put them away, I will never see them and I even forget that I have them. So even if I wanted to wear them, I didn't know they existed and it just turns into a big ordeal. So this tip is all about finding what you actually use and don't use. If you have no idea where to start, I have two ideas for you. So if you wanted to buy something like this rack, it's super, super useful because not only does it give you more space to organize, so what you want to do is first start off with a clear rack, like nothing on it. Try to shove your clothes in your closet or like somewhere else and just keep this whole rack free. This is because when you do start wearing clothes and washing them, after you've washed them and you've worn them, you can hang it on this new rack and then you'll definitely be able to see what you've been wearing. Sometimes I even grab stuff from here like at least twice a week after I've washed it just because I love the clothing item so much. So if the clothing item ends up on this rack a lot, then I know it's definitely a piece that I've been loving and that I've been wearing a lot. So that's probably not a piece that I'm gonna get rid of. All the pieces that are still stuck in my closet, just hanging and haven't been worn. I kind of get a sense that I'm probably not going to wear some of those pieces. Some of them I may think I love, but if I'm not wearing them, then there must be a reason for that, right? Again, I'm one of those people who kind of wear things seasonally, so I won't wear like certain pieces during spring or certain pieces during winter. So I keep that in mind as well. For example, I'm not gonna throw away all of my Bordeaux clothing because I don't wear them in the spring and summer. I'll keep a little bit of those clothes knowing that maybe in autumn I'll wear them. However, if they don't end up on this rack in autumn, then maybe I'm gonna think about them again and possibly consider getting rid of them. However, if you're not like me and you don't have a ton of room to work with, that is totally okay. 
I have another method. So pretend that this is your closet. Another good way to tell what pieces you have and haven't been wearing is to do the clothes hanger trick. So as you can see, all of my clothes hangers are facing forward or going on the rack like this, like that, towards the wall. Another thing that you can do after you've worn and washed your clothing is actually turning the hanger so that it's this way, so that you can tell which pieces have been recently worn and washed. And that way, if you're deciding on pieces to get rid of, anything that's still facing the wall in the correct direction, you know you haven't worn in a while, and you can tell which pieces you've actually been wearing. I just think that's a great idea because sometimes there's like a difference between head and heart. Like, I could love a piece so much, but realize that I'm not wearing it, and honestly, I would rather sell it and one, make more money to buy something else that I do love, or two, sell it to somebody who will love it and wear it way more than I do because if it's just sitting there in my closet it's not being used and it's not being loved and I don't know I just think that's really sad so those are just kind of the two methods that I use to see what I've been using and what I haven't been using. My third tip is all about organization. I think it's super super key that you organize everything that you have in your closet. For example I put all my dresses together and then my skirts and then my shorts and then my cardigans and blouses and so on etc. So basically I have everything sectioned out together just so that I can see everything that I have to choose from when I'm picking something. For example, if I'm picking out a cardigan, if I have all of my cardigans in a row, I can see each cardigan right there in front of me and pick out the one that I want to wear that day. Because if my cardigans aren't all together, if I have one hanging out randomly somewhere, I might not even see it. So that might not even mean that I don't like it and I don't wear it. It just means I haven't seen it because I have no idea where it is. So I just think that organization is super key when you're trying to choose items that you want to keep and not keep. Even beyond just sectioning them off by categories like skirts or dresses, I like to keep my dresses very organized because I have a lot of dresses. It also helps me kind of visualize all the things that I have that are kind of similar. For example, if I have more than one colorway of a dress, I like to keep them all together just so that I can see them all together. And if I like a certain style of dress, such as these kind of baby doll dresses with like the big colors from Anc Rouge, I like to keep them all together because if I'm feeling like wearing a dress like that one day, then I can kind of see all of them together. And this might just me, but I go overboard when I like something like a lot. So if I like something, for example, this style dress, I buy so many of it. For example, I have this dress. And then I just bought this dress like you saw and then like just hanging on this rack I have this one, this one, and then this one, and oh yeah, this one too. So as you can see they're all kind of similar so I like to keep them all together just so that I can see all of the similar dresses that I have. My thinking in this is one, to be organized and two, because I went on a crazy spree where I bought a ton of these dresses, I might have just bought them because I like this style, not necessarily because I like the dress. For example, I haven't worn this one out yet just because I'm not 100% sure about it. I literally only bought it because I was going crazy over these dresses and once I saw this one I was like, oh it's like the same style dress, I'm just gonna buy it because I'm obsessed with these kind of dresses. However, I have haven't worn it yet so it's kind of going in my maybe sell pile I'm not sure yet but at least this way I know that I haven't been reaching for it because when I look at all my other dresses in this style I tend to go for the other dresses instead of this one so that organization kind of just helps me also figure out what I love compared to something else I also think the same way about things that I get in the same colorway if I really like a dress or an item I usually buy it in like two or three colorways just because I'm a little bit crazy but I think I just get like caught up in loving that dress that I don't really think think about how I don't need two colorways and a lot of the times I just don't even end up wearing the second one or one or the other so I end up selling them because I just don't need them. So that's why I think organization is super important because it will help you realize what pieces you are reaching for and you aren't reaching for and it really helps for when you're trying to decide on your clothing. So hopefully after those three tips you'll come up with like a pile or a section of clothing that you are iffy about or you might consider getting rid of. After this there's one thing that I think is really important to know. Don't be afraid to let things go. Clothes are just material items and trust me I struggle with this so much because I love my clothes like they are one of my passions in life. I don't know if I'm being super materialistic by saying this but I don't care because they make me happy and I'm okay that they make me happy. I love shopping and I love having a huge closet. However, like I mentioned before, I do think that clothing is very special, especially the clothing that I buy because I know there's a huge community out there who would love to buy some of these clothes that I'm not wearing. If I don't love a particular piece, 
I would much rather sell it to somebody who will give it a lot of love and to somebody who will cherish it and wear it way more than I do. So I just really like to keep that in mind when I'm selling clothes and something that I'm really iffy on. Someone could be desperately wanting that piece or something and I just feel like that clothing would be happier in a better home, if that makes sense. If clothing could be happy, if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, don't be afraid to let things go and also if you are a little bit iffy about selling something, I would either one, just keep it until you actually decide that you do want to let it go or two, keep this in mind. If you're selling clothes, especially if you're in the Liz Lisa community, it's so easy to find stuff secondhand. For example, I've talked about this before, but I had this dress and I sold it because I wasn't sure about it. And then I realized that I wanted it again and I was able to purchase it again. So I had to go through a bit of digging and I had to wait a little bit until I found it again but I eventually did find it, so no regrets. That's just kind of what goes through my mind when I'm deciding on selling clothes. So the last thing that I wanted to say about this subject is sell all of the clothing that you're not using. So I've been talking about this kind of the entire video, but it's really fun to sell your clothing on secondhand websites such as Depop. I absolutely love selling clothes on Depop. I think it's fun. I think it's kind of like owning your own little boutique online. I have a really good time selling my clothes, to be honest. Sometimes if I'm doing a big clear out, I find it kind of a hassle to take all the pictures for it but a lot of the times I already do have pictures of me wearing them so I don't know I just think it's really fun to sell your clothes and of course with selling your clothes you get money so you can buy new clothes or anything that you want with them but I just think that's a really cool aspect and a really good option if you are trying to get rid of some stuff that you're not using in order to buy stuff that you will use personally my favorite place to sell is on Depop Depop does charge a fee I think it's 10% plus the two point something PayPal fee as well however Depop's fees aren't the most expensive out there so I do think it's still a great option. Another option is eBay. I see a lot of Liz Lisa clothing being sold on eBay. I feel like eBay is one of those sites where it's nice if you have like a really rare item because if people want it bad enough they'll bring up the price when they auction for it. However I just don't like that stress and I just want to like sell it and be done with it so I don't really do that on eBay. I've tried a couple times but like I said it was just too stressful so I prefer to just shop on Depop where the price is the price so if people want to buy it then they buy it they don't they don't so I don't know I just think it's really fun and on that same kind of note about selling clothes I don't think that you should limit yourself to only selling like for example if you're in the Liz Lisa community to only sell Liz Lisa items I've literally sold items that don't have a brand that I've just bought from like China and I've sold like Forever 21 and H&M items you can literally list anything on there and there might be a chance of someone buying it and that's better than having the item just stay in your closet with you not wearing them and in not making any money so I don't know I just think it's worth a shot right so if you're going through your clothes and you realize that you don't wear any of those Forever 21 dresses anymore, why not just pop them in your store and see if they sell? Because what's the worst that can happen? You either sell them and make some money or you don't sell them and they just stay in your closet right where they are. Of course, another option is to donate to charity shops or to thrift stores. I actually do this a lot, a lot with the clothes that don't sell or with just like Forever 21 or H&M items that I just find aren't really worth selling. And because I have so much clothes, a lot of my clothing is still in really good condition. So I just feel like it's a great way to donate back to the community and literally just to get that stuff out of my closet and hopefully into somebody else's. Okay, and then the last thing I wanted to say, I've already said it, but it's super obvious. After you make money from all the clothes that you aren't wearing, you can buy something new, you can buy something that you've been saving up for, or you can just save your money for something else. I don't know. I personally save all my Depop money to buy more clothing because I figure all that money is just extra anyway and I'm only going to spend it on clothes anyway because like I said, that's like my passion in life. So it's kind of like my clothes are just funny themselves if that makes sense I don't know is this just like a shopping addict's way to like rationalize what's going on I don't know anyway recently I did a huge huge closet clear out where I sold so many of my items I actually focused a lot on selling shoes and bags because I realized that I had so many bags that I wasn't wearing and same with shoes like I have so many shoes that I don't wear anymore or that I've literally bought because I thought they would go with one specific outfit and then I just never really found a use for them after that so I sold a ton of bags and shoes and of course I've been selling clothes as well and I actually bought something really special for myself and I don't know, I kind of wanted to reveal it in this video just because I put a lot of hard work into selling the clothes that I don't wear and I rewarded myself for it, so why not? Isn't it just so pretty? I'm just so in love with this baby pink color and I haven't really seen anything in the recent years with this like classic flat bag in this baby pink color. I don't know, when I just saw this I felt completely in love. I've been wanting these bags for a long time but they're kind of hard to find and I've seen like there's one that's hot pink that's been floating around there but I don't know, baby pink is definitely more my style and like I said I used the money that I got selling clothing to buy this I actually literally sold like 
I don't know how many bags and a couple pair of shoes and I actually sold one of my other Chanel items to buy this bag. It was like my little patent leather wallet on chain. I just never really used it and it was a really rare item so I figured somebody else out there might love it. So I did end up selling that one which paid for half of this bag. So yeah, the rest is just kind of history from there but yeah, I'm just like super happy with it. It is the Chanel Classic Flap in Medium Large. So I think because this bag is kind of old, the quilts have like flattened out so you can kind of tell that it's old. But other than that, it's pretty much in pristine condition especially for being pre-loved. It's got golden hardware and when you open it up it's just got two flaps and then a made compartment. I actually have it stuffed right now with some clothing just so that it doesn't lose its shape. But yeah, I'm super happy about this bag. I can't wait to wear it out. It just looks so cute and girly and classy. Oh my god, it's so nice. I'm just so happy. I just love the fact that I could let some of my clothing go in order to buy something special that I really love. And I don't know, I think that's just a really good way to like refresh your wardrobe, refresh your life. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of just rambling now because I don't know how to end this video. So yes, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that some of my tips helped you out. If you are looking to clean out your closet, it is spring, so maybe you want to do a little bit of spring cleaning and clean out your closet. I don't know. Anyway, if this video helped you, please give me a big thumbs up and let me know if you are doing a spring clear out because I would love to check out your Depop or wherever else you're selling your clothing because I love to buy secondhand clothing. And also please let me know if this video helped you out because I'm dying to know if people like my videos and I just don't get that very many comments. So I don't know, please leave me a comment if you watch this video so that I know people are out there watching. If you like this video and you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe because I upload videos every single week and I work really hard on them so I would really really appreciate if you followed my channel. So yeah that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you next time. Bye!